Welcome back, it's your boy Rico, and I'm back with another video. We talked a few months ago about how to cop on the sneakers app, right? And since then, honestly, a lot has changed. And honestly, there were some things that I simply didn't know at the time. So with all the new releases that's about to drop, it's vital that you know everything about the sneakers app going forward to give you the best chance to cop. So when you leave this video, if you watch it all the way through, you will have a clear understanding on how to be in a better position to cop on the sneakers app. All right, so first I wanna jump into some technical stuff, all right? The first thing that I think, I still think it's important to have all the other apps on your phone shut down. And once again, let me explain why. I got a bunch of people in the comments on the last video saying that it didn't matter, but let me, under, let me tell you how a computer work because ultimately a phone is a mini computer and computers have processors all right and those processors control how many tasks or apps the computer or device in this case can run at one time and more specifically how fast those tasks run so yes sneakers app can run while you have everything open however it can't run to its maximum ability with all those apps open now this is especially relevant for an older iPhone because the apps are updating they're getting bigger in size the older phones have older process this definitely applies to the older iPhones. Also, as far as a Wi-Fi connection, that's self-explanatory. You always want to have the best Wi-Fi connection. And once again, a lot of people were telling me that speed doesn't matter on sneakers, and that is absolutely not true in my opinion, because if you've ever been in the heat of a drop and your size sells out and then you go, you try to go pick another size, but it's lagging so hard and going so slow that you can't even do that, that's where speed and processing power kicks in. My next point is use as many devices as you can. And when I say devices, I mean if you have a phone and an iPad, run on both of them. Just like winning the lottery, the more times you enter, the better your chances of winning. Now that's the same concept when it comes to sneakers app, all right? Now I get it, everybody just don't have an, an extra device laying around. So if you have a computer, then an, another browser, you can actually go to sneakers.com on your browser and put an entry in there as well. Next, another thing that I know for sure helps is having all your info pre-saved in the sneakers app, all right? So it lets you go in before the drop even happens or even after, whenever, it lets you set your size, shipping address, payment address, you definitely don't want to be scrambling to do that in the middle of a drop also if you have a face id enabled iphone then i definitely definitely recommend you turn that feature on that will definitely help you get an entry in faster and that takes me right down to your payment methods okay even if you have your payment info now let me tell you why just a regular card definitely isn't the most efficient because every time you enter that card is going to ask you the cvc number okay that's going to take time for you to put that in now once again if you that's all you have and you haven't memorized more power to you if you have an iphone go to your apple wallet and add your card in there okay that way you can use apple pay as a payment method and then boom right in last video i didn't mention this one and honestly i tried it myself and i got a lot of people telling me that paypal is better and yes from my experience PayPal is even more seamless than Face ID. I was able to complete a purchase with just two clicks on PayPal. Be there on time, be there early. You don't want any unforeseen circumstances to knock you off your game. Trust me, getting ready five minutes before the drop, minutes before the drop is not the move. You're gonna be scrambling. Definitely get ready, have all your devices or browsers loaded 10 minutes early. All right, so now that we got the technicalities out the way, now I wanna talk about the truth about the sneakers app, all right? The truth is, it's a game of chance because most drops are Leo drops, right? And Leo drops, for those who aren't hip, are let everybody order. And so what happens is everybody puts their order in and then they pick whose orders they wanna take. So that's where you'll hear people say speed doesn't matter. Speed does matter in a case like I mentioned earlier where your size sold out and you need to go select another size. Think of it like this. It's not the necessary speed, it's the entries, all right? So the faster you can put in more entries, the better your chances do increase. That's why I preach speed when it comes to sneakers. Another truth about the sneakers app that I see a lot that I just want to clear up on this video is, is that you're actually not competing with many botters on the sneakers app. Sneakers and Nike are some of the hardest places to bot actually. So the stock isn't eaten, being eaten up there. What it is is these recent drops have been really low stock numbers and an insane amount of people going for this low stock. Their bot protection is actually why I think so many regular accounts get filtered out. You might be thinking like, bro, it's a lost cause. There's nothing I can really do to improve my chances. And yes, there is. Let me tell you how. Like I keep saying, it's a numbers game, right? In a game where 
a hundred thousand people are going for a limited amount of stock you can take your chances from one in one hundred thousand to one hundred and one hundred thousand which is still a way better chance and how you can do that is you can actually purchase Nike accounts I'm currently not sponsored by any account provider however I will link some of the good ones some of the ones that I trust based on the people in my community who can vouch for them and I'll place them on there now these accounts I've seen them go anywhere from 50 cent per account to a dollar per account all right and there's low quality accounts and high quality accounts but basically what these accounts do is allow you more and more entries more and more entries to get your order in inside let everybody order drop sis now you could even make more accounts yourself however you got to have access to unlimited email accounts unlimited phone numbers and most of us don't so that's why it's that's why i suggested that i've also haven't heard the question asked hey bro can you use the same card on multiple accounts from my understanding yes you can there's i've done some reading i've done a lot of reading and I can't find anything that says you can't use the same card on multiple sneakers accounts. Another belief I have is that a lot of our common accounts, regular accounts, are getting filtered in the bot pool, all right? And the reason why is because I believe a lot of people don't use the app enough for it to register as a real person, right? Because Nike has to have some system to figure out what accounts a real account, what accounts a bot, and I feel like activity might be one of those things. Another thing I feel like I've done to increase my chances is looking at the stories on the shoes, sharing some of it to social media, just showing activity, hey, I'm a real person, I'm interested in buying. So let me know in the comments some suggestions that you have maybe for the community. I mean, we all a community here. Let us know some suggestions on what you think would help, would help us all cop on the sneakers app more. If you wanna learn about sneaker reselling, I got a couple dope challenges going on. Meet me over at that video. Love everybody out there, let's get it.